Wizard of West LA. Today we'll look at the Raspberry Pi Zero W. That's what this one is, which is a one gigahertz single core CPU, and this one is 512 megabytes of RAM. And you can see the back of how it looks. And this one, the GPIO pin port is not soldered. I will have another video with it soldered. That is the micro HDMI port which it comes with, a micro SD port, which is basically the hard drive of how it runs, an accessory port, which I understand you can use a camera with it, and it comes with a USB port, which is a micro connector and a power port. And the kit comes with a power supply, a heat sink, a micro HDMI converter so you can go with the larger size and the micro USB so you can go with standard size USB and it comes with a case and it comes with a 40 pin GPIO board and that is the hard drive which is basically a chip where you install the operating system so here's how you download the operating system you go into the Raspberry Pi org go into downloads and then the the thing about it is to download the whole operating system which is Raspbian and download the whole thing with the desktop which is a lot larger than the other one it's more worth it and you get more usage out of the computer so you click on that and then you download and you store that image file anywhere you want on the desktop PC or Mac it doesn't matter it's the same process so I'm using Win32 Disk Imager on Windows 10 and I used an adapter for the memory chip, plugged it in and I'm going to put the image file onto that chip which is part of the kit that came with it as you saw in the past pictures. So here is a video of how long it takes to boot up and it is a slower processor it is not like a raspberry pi 2 3 or 4 and it does take a long time to boot up as you can see in this video so it will boot up and as what i'm understanding from this processor as i've tried other raspberry pi uh, versions this one is a fun one in that it is meant for programming the gpio and writing little programs in Python. It is not meant to cruise the web. I will give you an example of when it boots up. As you can see, it takes a while to boot up. And this one is pre-configured for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I just put it in there. That's what the W is for. This version happens to come with wireless. So it's still booting up. And it is rather slow as it boots up. And you'll get a little example of how long it takes to just open a web page. You can see the mouse doesn't really have a delay. The mouse seems to work pretty smoothly. And I'm going to open up a website called www.weather.com, which has a lot of graphics on it. And I've included another video after this of what it looks like to boot it up with a Raspberry Pi 3 that I had laying around and you'll see the difference in speed as it boots up so it does take a while as you notice and there's little tricks to speed it up I have tried it it doesn't really speed it up you can run it in lower resolution it still doesn't speed up it's not meant I really would not use it to cruise the web or even YouTube YouTube was that took a long time just to open the beginning page so it is good for like I say writing programs and for making like a little controller for a lot of fun projects and it's great having this if you want a full desktop experience if you've programmed an Arduino or a pick chip or anything else this one's a fun little computer and you can watch it do things especially with the GPIO ports so as you can see 
it's taken a while to boot up and I typed in the page and the internet connection is a good connection I thought it was that too when I first got the device I was booting it up and it took a and it took a long time it's not about the internet connection it's the processor and the it, and the the version of it it's a Raspberry Pi Zero what it's meant it's really tiny as you can see from the pictures which is really fun it's actually smaller than a credit card and it runs very very low draw on the uh, power it's really nice so it's a lot of fun I will put some other videos up on programming with it so I'll let this boot up and you can watch it and see how long it takes just to open the weather weather.com of course on this video it didn't really finish loading because the speed was rather slow but you'll see where it ends you can also skip through this video on YouTube if this uh, takes a long time which uh, it, it does it takes a while I just wanted to give you a real world example of how long it takes to boot up so feel free to skip and then the next video that will appear in a little while will show you another boot up you'll see on the screen and that's a there we go some of it showing up and then you'll see what a Raspberry Pi 3 will do and it's an older Raspberry Pi 3 too it's not the newest one it's a, I think it's version A it's an old one it's an old one that I had laying around and you'll see the difference in boot up so this gives you an idea and just so you know the GPIO is the general purpose input output those little pins and you can solder to those pins and basically do a lot of projects with controlling lights or anything you want it's 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 a lot of fun but you can take a look and see how long this takes to load it loaded part of the page but as you can see it still hasn't loaded the advertisements yet so I picked this page because it has a lot of graphics on it I know there's a, a lot of other pages but this one is is a pretty good indicator to give you an idea on speed so I'm not speeding this up this is in real time so you can watch that so I'll be back on the other video and you can see the the difference So at this point now you can see what has loaded and you can see it's still the little part is spinning. So I'm rebooting it and I want to show you the difference of what it will look like with a Raspberry Pi 3 booting up. It's an old one I found. And like I say, when it boots up, just disregard the opening program that it loads. And I'm going to open the web, same browser, and go to the same website. So you'll see the difference. So now we are booting up the Raspberry Pi 3 and you're going to see some differences of how it works. And like I said again, just disregard the beginning program that will open up and I'm going to load the browser. The amazing thing about it that still amazes me is I'm going to run the browser with that other program running in the background 
which eats up some memory and you're going to see the difference in speed even while there's another program running. I wouldn't dare try this with the Raspberry Pi Zero. To tell you the truth, I actually did try it. I actually did try it and it never loaded <laughs> the uh, opening program that you see on this. There, so I open the browser and I'm going to open the weather page and you can see what it's doing the weather page. And it looks, <laughs> look at the difference, see? That's a Raspberry Pi 3. I am going to do another video with the Raspberry Pi 4 and that one is a lot of fun. That one is fun. So there we go. You can see it load. And this one, you can do the same uh, type of controller applications with the Raspberry Pi 3 as we did with the W. But as you can see, it's just a lot faster. So, and it loads the page. And this one actually got to the end of the page. So you can take a look at that. So it looks like that loaded and you can see the difference and you can actually use it. Uh, I've actually on this old one, I've actually watched a movie on it and I've actually uh, watched YouTube on it. So it does work. You know, it's a little bit slower, but it does work than uh, your regular desktop. If you like the video, feel free to give us a thumbs up and leave some comments. If you discover anything, definitely leave some comments and feel free to subscribe to the page. And I will be posting a lot more Raspberry Pi devices and different interesting things like that. So remember, keep on learning and have fun with your Raspberry Pi. They are a lot of fun. Till we meet next time.